Did you know right now you can get a MacBook Pro with an M1 chip on Amazon for only $839? That's right, Amazon currently has MacBook Pros with the M1 chip renewed for only around $800. I actually got this one for $798 on Black Friday. So if you're in the market for a MacBook Pro, maybe a MacBook Air, you might be able to save a lot of money by getting a renewed MacBook Pro from Amazon. So in this video, we're gonna first go over the definition of a renewed MacBook Pro when purchasing it from Amazon so you know exactly what you're gonna get. Then we'll do an unboxing of the MacBook Pro that I just purchased. We'll show you what you get and also the condition you can expect of your MacBook Pro. And then finally, we're gonna do a quick comparison with a brand new MacBook Pro M1 that I bought that is identical to my refurbished version. So you'll be able to see the difference between a brand new MacBook Pro and then a renewed MacBook Pro. So to start out, I wanna go over the specs for this. So this is a 2020 MacBook Pro with an M1 chip, 13 inch screen, eight gigabytes of RAM, and it has 256 gigabytes of SSD storage. Now, while that's not the flashiest specs you can get on a MacBook Pro, with my MacBook Pro with the same specs, I've been able to edit videos for my channel and play video games with no issue. So what does it mean to purchase a renewed product from Amazon, especially a MacBook Pro? So first, you'll get 90 days to return the MacBook Pro, no questions asked. So if you have any issues with it, maybe you're not happy with its condition, you can return it. So really there's not a lot of risk. You have 90 days to decide that maybe you don't like the MacBook Pro that you got. Additionally, they guarantee that the MacBook Pro has been tested and it does work. Although it's not been certified by Apple, it has been tested before they sold it to you. Additionally, they tell you what is included. First, you get the renewed MacBook Pro. You get a charger and there's no guarantee that it'll actually be an Apple charger. It could be a third party charger. Your MacBook Pro will have a minimum of 80% battery life and we'll go into what that means later. And it will not include any accessories such as cases or headphones. So now that we've gone over the definition of a renewed product from Amazon and we know what to expect, let's go ahead and open up this renewed MacBook Pro and do a quick unboxing. All right, so I'll just go ahead and open up this MacBook Pro right here. I've already cut the tape off of it. All right. Open this out. Kind of a weird box. All right, so we have the MacBook Pro right here. As you can see, right off the bat, I can see some scratches. Nothing too bad, but definitely some scratches on the device on the bottom as well. We'll open it up later. Let's see what kind of charger we got. It looks like we did get lucky. We, did, we do have an Apple charger here. So that should be high quality, just as you would get from the store. And that's gonna be it in the box. A little request for a review and some warranty information here. So now we can put this box aside because that's gonna be it in the box. And then we can open up this MacBook Pro and see what it looks like. All right, a little bit stuck together there. Turns on, that's a good sign right there. As you can see, there is a little bit of dirt on the keyboard, maybe some scratches right here. Trackpad seems to work. A Little bit of dirt right here on the keyboard and up here in the joint, but really no scratches on the screen, very clear screen. And then as you can see, we can go through the setup process. The mouse and the trackpad are very responsive and the keyboard works great. Speakers work as well. So everything seems to be working pretty well on this so far. There is a pretty hefty dent down here on the bottom. So this was definitely dropped, I would say. So taking a closer look at the charger, everything looks fine here, no scratches. This is a 61 watt charger here. The cable looks to be used, but it's in pretty good condition. We'll go ahead and see if the MacBook charges. So I'm just gonna get this MacBook Pro set up real quick. Then we can go in, check the battery life on it and compare it to my new MacBook Pro. All right, so I've gone through the process of setting up the renewed MacBook Pro from Amazon and now it's working. Backlit keyboard, everything works correctly. There's no keys with no lights behind it. And the touch bar here works great and it's very responsive as well. So very happy with that so far. I currently have it charging and while it's charging, let's go over what that 80% battery capacity means. So if I go up here to the battery icon right here and I select battery settings, and then once we're in the battery settings here, what we wanna find is battery health. So right now you can currently see that this is normal, but if we wanna see more information, simply select this little I for information. This will then open up the battery condition. This lets us know that it's normal. And then we can see the maximum capacity, which is gonna be 87%. 
So my brand new MacBook came with 100% capacity and we were guaranteed to get at least 80 and we ended up with 87. So we actually got better than we were expecting of 80. The maximum battery capacity basically just measures how much capacity you can get out of the battery, which lowers the more that that battery is used. And basically to simplify that, if I have a MacBook Pro with a maximum capacity of 100% and it gets 10 hours of battery life, if my maximum capacity is 80%, I'll get eight hours of battery life out of that MacBook Pro. So still really good battery life, and we actually got more than we expected. All right, so now to perform a performance test between the renewed or refurbished MacBook Pro on the left side and my brand new MacBook Pro with the same specs as the refurbished one. We're gonna be testing editing a video using DaVinci Resolve. That's the software I use to edit all the videos on my YouTube channel. Both computers have the exact same files and the exact same timelines, in DaVinci Resolve. So we should get a good idea to see if the refurbished MacBook Pro has any performance issues when compared to a brand new MacBook Pro with the same specs. So I'm gonna go ahead and get those rendering starting now. And while this is rendering, both of these MacBooks are plugged in as well to ensure they're not in low power mode. All right, so they both have just finished and as you can see, the new MacBook Pro took one minute, 46 seconds to render the video, and the refurbished one took one minute and 48 seconds. So really not a big difference there. This shows me that the refurbished MacBook Pro has the same performance as the brand new MacBook Pro. And one more quick thing about the price. Today, March 13th, it is currently priced at 868. But if we go to Camel, Camel, Camel and look at the history, we can see that the price is dipping back down. This morning, it was 809 for a refurbished MacBook Pro. So really you need to just continue to check the link in the description and you should be able to get a really good deal on a renewed MacBook Pro M1. All right, so that was a quick overview and review of a refurbished MacBook Pro from Amazon. Check the description for a direct link to this exact MacBook Pro on Amazon so you can get the great price of around $800. If you have any questions about this refurbished MacBook Pro, leave a comment below, I'll get back to you as soon as I can. If you'd like to see more MacBook tips and tutorials, check the links in the description. If this video helped you, give it a thumbs up and please consider subscribing to my channel, Gaging Gadgets, for more gadget reviews and tech tutorials. Thank you so much for watching.